Now that you have your rough draft or your sloppy copy, your sketch, whatever you want to call it, of what is your idea for your Faith Ringgold dreaming of flying where you're going to go. Once you have that done, now's your time to move on to the watercolor paper. So I want to share with you my watercolor paper drawing. So I went in and I added, as you can see, the same things that I have in here. But notice I changed a couple of things around, so you can certainly go and do that. I made this part bigger. I certainly added more detail. Just remember that if you draw too tiny, you're going to be using permanent markers to trace over all your pencil lines, and then you're going to be painting this in. So you want to make sure that whatever you draw on here doesn't get too small that you cannot use watercolors on it and you cannot trace with a permanent marker. So you can see I still haven't added in my clouds or my plane flying. Um, I talked about adding some camels down here. I could go in, I can add my camels. I haven't done that yet. Um, I could add a city in the background if I wanted to. So there's some other things I could go in and add. But I have added myself flying. I am got myself clothed. I'm wearing some sneakers. Um, might want to go in and, I don't know, maybe add a little bit of detail. So maybe I have kind of the soles of my sneakers kind of showing here. Um, so you kind of you decide what you want to do if you're wearing socks you could put socks in there so your next step is going to be to take your rough draft and to draw it fairly large on your final paper now one thing i will say is i could have also depending you have to decide what you want to do if i because i had this really tall this is the eiffel tower and this is really tall i could have held my paper this way. And I could have put myself flying up here and I could have a very tall Eiffel Tower and then put my um, pyramids in the way far back. Um, so there's a couple different ways you can go about doing this. You just have to decide which way do you think would be best for you. Is it going to be vertical or is it going to be horizontal? I just happen to choose horizontal um, since that's kind of what I practiced on but I could have gone the other way as well. So take your time, do a really nice job, and you should be looking at the images that you saved on your iPad so that you can make sure that this drawing is done really well. And then we're on to the next step.